lesson time! Lesson time, yes. Let's do that thing. Uh, module 7, lesson 7, lucky 7s. Here we go. What are we doing? We are going to solve problems. I love solving problems. Ah, isn't it a beautiful feel? Okay, it's a beautiful feeling. Uh, so we're going to solve problems involving mixed units of length. Um, so that means uh, adding, subtracting, like feet and inches. That's what they mean by mixed units. And we're doing it with length, so feet and inches, yards. That's it, right? I'm pretty sure. We're doing just customary this time. Let's see. All right, a little warm-up here. A little customary warm-up. <laughs> uh, one yard is how many feet? Three feet. Very good. So that would mean that one yard and two feet well, the yard is three, we just said, and two more would make five feet, okay? And this is a simplified version of what we'll be learning today, so this is a good warm-up. Four yards, one foot, is how many feet? Well, each of these yards is three feet, so four times three is 12, plus one is, oh no, unlucky 13. And if you wake up one morning and find that you have 13 feet, call your doctor. All right, three yards, two feet. Three times three is nine, plus two is 11 feet. Beautiful, you see how this works? Now we're gonna go the other way. Three feet, that's one yard. Okay, so just go in the other direction. Six feet then, well, we're gonna divide by three. Six divided by three is two, two yards, okay? Five feet. Oh, we're going to put that into mixed units, yards and feet. Okay, so pull out the three feet. We're decomposing here, right? Three feet would make one yard, and that leaves two feet. Okay, one yard, two feet. Ah, uh, same thing with a bigger number, 22 feet. All right, well, you can divide by three to find out how many yards there are, and that would be your quotient, and then the remainder would be the feet. So 22 divided by three, seven times three is 21, right? So seven yards, and that would leave one foot. Seven yard, one foot. All right, and now, whoa, doesn't that look tricky? I actually made this one just kind of to show you that numbers can look scary, but not actually be. You can divide this by three in your head. Look, how many threes in three? One. Threes in six? Two. Threes in nine? Three. One two, three. Ah, 123 yards. See? Ha, 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 ha. Big numbers. We laugh at you. 12 inches now. Let's go over to the inches, inches. 12 inches is one foot, okay? 12 inches is one foot. So 24 inches, well, you know, it's double, right? 12 doubled is 24, so that would be two feet. Um, and what we're doing here, of course, is we're dividing by 12. You probably know, because we've done this, um, that how many 12s are there in 36? 12, 24, 36. Ah, oh, there are three, right? All right. And three feet is also equal to one yard. You remembered. It's your birthday. Maybe. Might be. I don't know. All right. So now we're going to divide by 12 inches to find how many feet are in there. And then the remainder will be the inches. So how many 12s in 14? There's one with how many inches left over? Two. So one foot, two inches. You can also think of it just as subtracting out, decomposing the 12, which is easier in this one, but when you get to bigger numbers, the division is, is a snazzier way of doing it. So, well, we'll, we'll do it with subtraction because this one uh, is a smaller number still. Subtract the 12, that'll be a foot, and it leaves five inches. One foot, five inches. All right, so now divide by 12. 12, 24, okay, so there's two feet in there with how many inches left over? Two inches left over, very good. All right, now, there's another one where it looks like it's gonna be tough, but I'm showing you that, you know, you could actually do this stuff in your head. Because when you look at 125, oh, divided by 12, aha, how many 12s in, well, 12? One, right, and I'm writing a one in the quotient, the imaginary quotient up there, and that would be, uh, yeah, 12 times what? 12 times 10. You see, that would be 120. So 10 feet and how many inches are left over? 
there are 5. And you could write out the long division and do it that way. Okay, because 12 times 10 is 120 and 5 more. Great. Samantha, that punch-making demon, is at it again. Go, Samantha. She's making punch for a class picnic. There are 26 students in her class. I assume that includes her. Um, Samantha uses one gallon, two quarts of orange juice, three quarts of lemonade, and one gallon, three quarts of sparkling water. How much punch did Samantha make? Okay, so we want a total, and we have a second question. Will there be enough for each student, remember there are 26 students, will there be enough for each student to have two one cup servings of punch? Okay, well we can kind of think out this last part right now, right? 26 students, they're going to have two cups each. So how many cups is that total? And so you could do 26 plus 26 or 26 times 2. And sometimes I even do these things by saying, oh, I know 25 doubled is 50 and 2 more would be 52. Okay, so we're going to need 52 cups in the end. We'll just kind of reserve that in the memory banks. Let's draw out a little tape. We got OJ. No, not that one. Orange juice. We got L for lemonade and swoop for sparkling water. One gallon, two quarts. Okay, for the orange juice, three quarts of lemonade is less than that, so it should be smaller, right? Because four quarts make a gallon. Remember, we need that for this question. And one gallon, three quarts of sparkling water. Well, that's more than one gallon, two quarts, so uh, it's a little bigger. All right, so now we want to add those together. So let's just, and to find the, the total, P for punch. All right, so one gallon, two quarts, plus three quarts, plus one gallon, three quarts. Let's just crunch the numbers, just, and we'll sort out the bodies afterwards. So one gallon and one gallon is two gallons. Two quarts and three quarts is five quarts. Three quarts more is eight quarts. So that's two gallons, eight quarts. All right, we see that. Now we know we can decompose out four quarts is a gallon, right? So there's a gallon, there's a gallon, there's two gallons, so two three, four gallons all together. So in the question, how much punch did Samantha make? She made four gallons of punch. All right, but then is that enough for everybody to have two uh, one cup servings? All right, so remembering four quarts is a gallon, right? And a gallon, you may recall, is 16 cups, okay? Remember, there's two pints in a quart and two cups in each pint, so four cups in a quart times four is 16. Got it. All right. So that means four gallons times 16 cups. I'm just doing the math for you here on this one is 64 cups. And we already calculated that they need 52. 26 times two is 52. So does she have enough? Yes. She made 64 cups of punch, she needs 52 cups, so if every student gets two cups, there is enough punch. And it's always good to have a little extra, because isn't there always that, somebody's gonna spill it. I mean, somebody's gonna spill their punch and go back to get more, so you gotta have extra. All right, now we're getting to the meat, or the punch of the lesson. Uh, we're gonna add mixed units of length. This one, uh, you know, I've warned you about other lessons we had, like when we were doing capacity, um, that that was tricky. I think this one is, especially having done capacity, this one is going to be a little more straightforward for you. So, no sweat today. Four inches and five inches? Hey, we can do that. Nine inches. Okay, no problem. Got it. All right, nine inches and five inches. All right, we're still just adding. Nine plus five is 14. But how is this different? Oh, that's more than a foot. So, we're going to decompose out the foot and leaves two inches. See how this works now? Okay. So eight inches plus seven inches is 15 inches. Subtract out the foot or divide out. That would be one foot and how many inches? Three inches. Pulling out the 12 inches. Great. And this is similar to what we did in the warm up, so I'm not uh, belaboring this. 11 inches and nine inches is a total of 20 inches. All right. Take out the 12 inches for the foot. That leaves eight, so one foot, eight inches. Good. 
four feet and four feet. Now we're doing feet and yards. So four and four are eight feet. Divide that by three. Three, six. Ah, so there's two yards in there, and it leaves left over from six, seven, eight, two feet. So two yards, two feet. All right, see how this works? Nine feet, eight inches plus seven inches. Well, let's just crunch the numbers first. Nine feet, 15 inches. Ah, now we can decompose that foot, take out the 12 inches, and that becomes another foot. So now we have 10 feet and it leaves three inches there. 10 feet, three inches. All right. Four feet, nine inches plus 10 inches. Just crunch the numbers there. Yeah. Four feet, 19 inches. Pull out the 12 inches for the foot. All right. So now we have five feet and that leaves 19 minus 12 is seven. Okay, so five feet, seven inches. Great, six yards, two feet plus five feet. Crunch the numbers, six yards and seven feet, okay? Divide by three, three, six. Okay, so that's two yards. We could decompose out of there. Joined with these six, it will be a total of eight yards. Remember that, eight yards. Um, and we pulled out six feet here, so that leaves one foot. So eight yards, one foot. Going through the same thing, step by step here. Three yards, two feet. Two yards, two feet. Okay, well just crunch the numbers. Five yards, four feet. Ah, but we can decompose out a yard there. So now we have six yards and that leaves one foot. Excellent. Now we're going to subtract. That's, that's it for addition. That's as tough as that gets. I think you can ha I think you can hack this one, Susie. Oh, you're not Susie. Now you are. One foot minus nine inches. Oh, okay. Well, in order to do this, right, I have to convert the feet to inches, and we know there are 12 inches in a foot. Now I can subtract. 12 inches minus nine inches leaves three inches. The first one's always the easiest. All right. Seven feet minus nine inches. We are going to do as we've done before and just leave six of those feet alone and bust out one of them, that seven foot, as 12 inches. So six feet, 12 inches. Now we're doing that same 12 minus nine we just did. You see how it's no different here, except we you know, leave six of those feet alone. So that leaves six feet, three inches. Excellent. Seven feet, four inches. Do the same thing, except that now we have some inches here, right? So when we leave six of those feet alone and take one of them out as inches, we have to join it with the four inches already present. So we'll have six feet, and that seventh foot is 12 inches, plus the four inches here, 16 inches. Now we can subtract. Six feet, 16 inches, minus nine inches. Well, what's 16 minus nine? Seven, so six feet seven inches. Great. Now in this one, you see we have both feet and inches over here. Doesn't make it all that much more complicated really. Just one more little thing to do. So we're going to, again, we have seven feet, four inches. So we're going to leave six feet alone. The 12 inches with the four inches is still 16 inches. So six feet, 16 inches minus five feet, nine inches. Well, six minus five is one foot. 16 minus 9 is still 7 inches. 1 foot, 7 inches. Yes! -a. All right. Yards and feet, we can do as well. 7 yards, 1 foot, minus 2 yards, 2 feet. Okay, same thing here. We, the reason we have to regroup, by the way, you don't just automatically always regroup. We say, oh, I can't do 1 foot minus 2 feet. So that's why we're regrouping here, the same way we do in regular subtraction. So 6 of these yards, we're going to leave alone. One of them we're going to bust out as three feet with the one foot already present. So that was six yards. Three and one make four. Now we can subtract. Six yards minus two yards is four yards. Four feet minus two feet, two feet. Beauteous. Nine feet, two inches minus four feet, seven inches. And again, the reason we need to decompose and regroup here is we can't do two minus seven. All right, so eight of those feet we're gonna leave alone. The ninth foot we're gonna decompose or bust out as 12 inches with the two inches already present. So eight feet left alone and 14 inches. Now we can subtract. Eight feet minus four feet leaves four feet. 
14 inches minus 7 inches is 7 inches. Excellent. Yards and feet, again. 10 yards, 1 foot, minus 7 yards, 2 feet. Can't do 1 minus 2 on the feet there. That's why we need to regroup. So 9 of those yards we're going to set aside. That 10th yard we're going to bust out as 3 feet with the 1 foot already present is 4 feet. So 9 yards, 4 feet. Now we can subtract minus 7 yards, 2 feet. 9 yards minus 7 yards is 2 yards. 4 feet minus 2 feet is 2 feet still. Beautiful. And there you are. You're done with lesson there. You go to the problem set and you notice you're doing the exact same thing. And they even do uh, the additional help of telling you, hey, this answer is just going to be in yards. This one's in yards and feet and so on. Um, adding and subtracting here. Watch the signs. It's easy to get these wrong if you just do the wrong thing. Um, but so addition and subtraction with inches and feet, yards and feet, addition and subtraction. Watch the signs. Plus, plus, minus, minus. Uh, plus, plus, minus, minus here again with yards and feet and feet and inches. Beautiful. Then same thing in a couple of word problems. Read, then draw, then write. Um, we're comparing them, how much taller, so you should draw two separate tapes here, right? Uh, in gym class, he climbs this, and then he climbs that much more. Now, you could draw two tapes here, but I would draw one, and then bracket the whole thing. That's the total, because we're putting these two climbs um, together. So he got 10 feet, 4 inches up there, and then, like, stopped, and, like, <laughs> and, and then went another 3 feet, 9 inches. Um, do they even do this anymore? I bet this was written by somebody who's like my age because we used to have ropes that went like 40 feet up in the gym and we would just climb up there with no safety equipment whatsoever. There's like a mat on the floor. I'm surprised any of us are like live to tell. I don't think they do this in schools anymore. I, maybe they do, I don't know. Good luck if they do. Okay, then you're doing uh, with uh, a little geometry mixed in. And when you get to the exit ticket, more of the same but simpler, less to do, just four questions. And of course, as always, when you get to homework, hop over to my homework time video and do the homework with me question by excruciatingly wonderful question. That is Module 7, Lesson 7. Hope you had fun. I sure did. Woo! All right, and I'll see you again next time. It is once again lesson time. Yeah.